last page. Last page. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, six easy questions. Good. So we'll do these six questions and then we'll wrap it up and see where they put me on the com- the compass, the political test. So finally, a look at sex. Yes. Finally, the good stuff. Okay. Well, this is going to get fun and awkward. Um, who knows? There might be some friends and family that be watching and they're going to learn something about me. So good luck. Hope our next interaction is awkward. So sex outside marriage is usually usually immoral. Usually immoral. What? Usually. Why not just say is or is not immoral? Usually, though. Like sometimes it's moral. I'm going to disagree. Disagree. That seems weird. I don't know. Some, like the wording of these can be so particular where it's like just change a little bit here or there. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of... Ju- yeah, strongly agree. Okay, make sure I got that, read that right. Same-sex... Ah, same-sex couple should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. I want to make sure I read that right. Should not be excluded. I agree. They should not be excluded from child adoption. I agree. That's one of those things where if you read it too quick, you might say, oh should be, like, maybe you skipped the knot or sh- you read it as sh- different. So, same-sex couples should be able to adopt. Pornography, pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for adult population. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's kind of a prostitution adjacent. Prostitution is one of the oldest jobs in, in existence. Um. And I guess prostitution is illegal in a lot of places too, but it shouldn't be. Um, again, it's it's kind of one of those things where it's like it's their body, you know. And what's what is this? If if you are saying it's illegal or legal, that implies society has a vested interest in that thing because the society writes the laws or creates legal or il- illegality. So does, si- or does society have a vested interest in what two consenting adults do? Like if they want to post sex tapes online for money, whatever. I mean, those operate the same way as YouTube. You create your own content. You put it on a, a pornography website. They run ads on it and you get a revenue, you know. So, I mean, they both consented to it. That's their thing, Whatever. See a need, fill a need, as they would say in that kid's movie, Robots. Um, That might have been inappropriate. So what goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. You know what? I'm going to say strongly agree, but I always try to think of an example against that. I think of this, uh, this German guy that put out an ad where he, I think he wanted to either have sex with someone first, or maybe there was no sex involved, but he wanted to be killed afterwards and then consumed, cannibalized. Uh, I think the state should have some vested interest in that behavior not existing. Like, that's not good. Uh, Yeah, that's tough. But impulse-wise, strongly agree. Yeah. Private bedroom, that's their private, that's their business. No one can feel naturally homosexual. That seems silly. Strongly disagree. That seems silly. So it's kind of like saying, I think, are they saying homosexuality is a choice? Is that the same question? Eh, I strongly disagree. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. Yeah, strongly disagree. I would say, you know, a history of puritanical repression of sex has had a lot of uh, negative side effects. So if we're feeling like the openness about sex is uh, gone too far, well, that's probably us shedding a lot of baggage from our backgrounds. Because you got to keep in mind, there's Puritans that migrated over here to settle. Um, what, Plymouth Rock? Like that was the origins of much of the United States. And we've been kind of paying a price for that that nonsense for a while. And we're just starting to get over it. So, all right. So now let's see where you stand. 
Notice how, like, not long ago I said I very rarely use strongly disagree or agree, except when I got to sex. Then it was almost all of them, except for the top one. But I could, I mean, I could be swayed to strongly. Doesn't matter. Test is over. We're done. We've gone off the first impulse. We're done. We're moving on. Let's see where you stand. I stand. Blah, 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 about the test. Blah, 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 blah. We're not going to read all that stuff. Um, this is, shows where other people lie. You got authoritarian. I, I like the spectrum that involves more than just two, an X, the X axis. Uh, the spectrum that has more than just an X axis, left or right, you know, liberal, conservative. Now, on a camera, it might be reversed. Maybe this is left screen, right? But this is my right, and this is whatever. So you have libertarian, authoritarian, and then communism, collectivism to the left, neoliberalism, libertarianism to the right. And then you got the popular historical figures sketched around. Now, they put Hitler and Stalin. Uh, there's kind of a negative connotation because they're mass murderers. But at least you understand where they lie. Gandhi, Friedman. Is that Milton Friedman? I believe. Probably. So that's the spectrum they're using or the graph. I'm at economic left, right, negative 6.5. Social libertarian, authoritarian, negative 5.49. 5.49, negative. So I am leans deep into the libertarian, but I also lean towards the left. Left, social libertarian. I lean towards... So what... That puts me close to Gandhi. Wow. More libertarian than Gandhi. And about as collective, about as lefty as Gandhi. Well, I don't know much about Gandhi other than, you know, what I learned from a Ben Kingsley movie. Or Ben, is that his name? Yeah, Ben Kingsley, whatever. I haven't seen it for a while. So I don't know much about Gandhi at all in particular. Other than nonviolent protest, nonviolent protest can be tricky because uh, it kind of depends on who you're using against. But that's a different conversation. But uh, Gandhi, I'm about as far left as Gandhi, which I guess is okay. And as far down into libertarianism, pretty far into libertarianism. Hmm. Libertarian then, but just not right ring. Right wing libertarianism. Liber no, wait, 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 wait. Like, is it one supposed to be economic views versus social views? Uh, whatever. I don't. I might be overthinking this. Then maybe there should be a Z axis on this X, Y, and a Z. Like foreign issues, domestic issues, and e economic issues. Like an access for each one of those. I don't know. But whatever. Whatever. So I'm placed at left and libertarian. Far, or, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, duh. I'm not reading this right. Economic left, right. E economically left, socially libertarian. Man, that seems fair. Yeah, I agree with that, obviously. I mean, you did the test. Socially libertarian. Social social libertarian economic left. Huh. And I can get a certificate. Wow. And they make a donation in euros or pounds. What does that mean? I think that's pound. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it is pound. Huh. Okay. Well... That's who I am. Now you know. And so if I do any sort of political commentary in the future or social commentary in the future, you might be like, well, who is this guy? What does he believe? You can either watch this last video that shows a placement of where I am in, I'm at on the test, or you can watch all six of them. You can watch all six of them and get a general sense of how I think and feel. So that's who I am. Welcome to this guy. Um, thanks for watching, by the way. And um, 
we'll see if I get ambitious. There's things I'll scribble notes where it's like, I should do some sort of analysis on this or some sort of observation on this, but I don't get around to it. Um, but this winter has been pretty slow and I spent too much time on social media where people are saying a lot of garbage stuff. And I thought maybe I'll do some sort of opinion on it soon. All right. Thanks for taking the time. If you did, um, and subscribe if you're curious to see like more of this kind of content or in the comments say you'd be curious to he hear more about this kind of content and maybe I'll be more uh, inclined to do so. Have a good day, everybody, and uh, catch you later.